Hi, my name is Annie. I am an authority trainer from BMAX group of institutions. Hi everyone, I am Sajina. Okay, today we are here to give you some strategies about when you are writing the case notes. Majority of your students are facing how to write the letter with the grammatical errors. So ma'am, uh, can you clear some of the doubts uh, yeah. about the students? Uh, what you find which is the most common mistakes that they are making? Uh, Ma'am, I think um, the most common mistake what they do is with uh, definitely with was diagnosed, has been diagnosed when mm -hmm. it comes to purpose. Ma'am, according to you, what mistakes uh, our students make while writing? So, ma'am, according to me, the students, uh, I find so many common mistakes while they are making because majority of the students don't know uh, to identify the dependent clauses and independent clauses. So, uh, first of all, uh, they have to get an idea when they are using the connectors. First of all, they want to know between the independent uh, clauses, which connector they have to use. Yeah, same like that, uh, if the dependent clause will come first, so uh, then after that only really they have to use the comma. So, the punctuation so they are making, by majority of the students are making uh, the punctuations, they don't know how to use it properly. So, especially a comma when they are using, uh, after the dependent clauses compulsory, they have to put a comma, then they can write. For example, we can uh, give a, uh, we can give a more explanations regarding that one. Okay. And as well as, um, these are the main problem ma'am. Because first of all, they have to get a basic idea, what is dependent and what is independent clauses. So, independent clauses means that they can join with the connectors by the with the simple connectors especially and moreover uh, with the dependent clauses if it are dependent clauses will come first they are not supposed to use the connector afterwards. Okay. So, this is the first uh, uh, we the trainers first have to give an idea to the students regarding this one. Okay. So, this is the main mistakes that they are making. Okay. The first doubt is that one when you are writing an independent clauses and what uh, I will show you uh, what is dependent and what is independent clauses. Due to severe headache, Mr. John was. Shifted to hospital. So, due to severe headache, this is the dependent clause. If the dependent clause will come first, you have to put a comma after the dependent clause. Means this sentence has to depend upon the second sentence to make it sense to be completed. So, if you are writing Mr. John was shifted to hospital due to severe headache. Here you see uh, the independent clause come first that is why we are not supposed to use the comma after that one. So, you have to check it whether which one will come first. So, this John was shifted to hospital it is an independent clauses so it do not want to depend upon the second sentences to make it sense to be completed so you are not supposed to use the comma after that one so ma'am um, and you told me that uh, especially the students are making some articles they don't know properly to use the articles they will get so much confused while they are using the articles so whatever the doubts that uh, most common mistakes Ma'am, especially when it comes to symptoms, we know that uh, symptoms are countable as well as uncountable. For countable symptoms, we do place article. For example, a cough, a runny nose, like that. And when it comes to uncountable, we do not place article. Still, we can see students writing a diarrhea, mm -hmm. like that. Okay, uh, thank you, ma'am. So, ma'am, uh, I think uh, uh, 
uh, did you see that majority of the students when they will come to the uh, when they are writing the social history as well as the family history uh, and they don't know how to use the way, uh, present perfect form or past perfect form uh, they will get confused they have to sometimes some members will use has some others will use had so can you give an explanation ma'am for the students uh, based upon that one ma'am definitely when it comes to social history and when they have given a uh, time we have to write like she has had diabetic mellitus since whatever the year they have given mm -hmm. and most of the time this social history comes with past tense yes I think and some other students are they are writing uh, she has a family history of like that mm -hmm. but some mothers will write she has had a family history of maybe I think it's a family history we, if you write uh, has had we are not supposed to use family history again yeah, I think definitely. it's a common mistake I think so okay then um, I think and uh, com commonly uh, the one other mistakes I think uh, when they are writing the uh, heading uh, uh, main address forms mm -hmm. uh, and as well as when they are writing the dates so they will get confused shall I want to write the date of birth or the date or if we have to put while we are writing we have to put the slash or as well as for example uh, you know that 7th June so 7 6 2004 so uh, I want to write like this or 7 June 2006 so but uh, I think uh, it is easy for the students they can write either in um, uh, uh, numerical form as well as they can write uh, 7 June 7th June 2006 otherwise you can write 7 slash 6 2004 it's not a common mistake you can write whichever you which is more comfortable for you you can write that one as well as the main problem they are making when writing the date of birth i oh. think so date of birth also they will get confused so that also don't think about that one you can write date of birth also you can put a colon afterwards and you can write uh, maybe in the numerical form as well as in the what they have exactly given in the case notes you can write like that so and uh, one other doubt mainly especially when they are writing the purpose also they are making so much confused uh, yes ma'am definitely uh, when it comes to purpose we know that we have to write three to four lines uh, mm. patient's full name mm. and what is the exact he requires and plus the diagnosis ma'am when it comes to bruise or grazing or any cut mm. then also we can see students writing she was diagnosed with bruise cut mm. instead of that they can use she has sustained bruising and so on okay that's good because i think a majority of the students because for especially for the purpose they are getting the bad tree so um, if they are making more clarity uh, and uh, make the reader make it more concise to make them uh, to understandable you know that one because if the for the purpose is the most uh, first important part of a case uh, case note and when you are writing a letter the purpose is the most uh, important part for us so make it clear and uh, uh, we are writing uh, if you need to uh, make any changes first you go through the uh, writing task and make it clear how to write and according to the reader that you have to change the uh, purpose of this letter i want to give you some pieces of advices uh, when you are reading the case notes and especially when you are going to the writing task please check it who is the reader for you and especially when you are noting our case notes what you want to understand from the case notes while you are reading means first of all the purpose next of all you have to check it who is the reader and what is the present condition of the patient and is it a known case or unknown case and when you are going through with the physiotherapist if you want to write a letter to the physiotherapist please uh, check it whether the patient has any uh, ortho or neuro related uh, uh, diseases will be there and especially the current medication they are using and as well as they have any mobility issues and these are the first important facts they have to point out from the case notes mm -hmm. 
And moreover, when they will come to, when they want to write a uh, letter to the dietitian, mm -hmm. they have to look whether the patient has any chewing, uh, uh, chewing, swelling functions, as well as if they are using any dentures, mm -hmm. and even uh, are they preferring uh, the preference veg, non-veg, BMI, mm -hmm. okay. especially okay. the weight loss and weight gain of the patient and whether they have any diabetic related disorders like maybe fiber uh, cyst or any other conditions they have these are the common factors they have to check when they are writing a letter to the dietitian this uh, majority of the students are making conf uh, uh, mistakes because they are writing more irrelevant okay yes ma'am irrelevant informations they are using in the case source and especially when they are writing a uh, uh, letter to the social worker also same like that social worker no need any detailed uh, uh, explanation like other health professionals because uh, uh, especially we have to give importance for their social histories mm -hmm. as well as what the needs they uh, from our the what the support is service that they are expecting from us and the assistance that we can provide for them okay. and what they are expecting from the social worker only they have to point out that one so no need to write about the uh, uh, present condition present condition we can point out uh, about the patient first we don't want to write the medication names okay. as well as what we have administered in the uh, uh, hospital these are the reasons we are not supposed to mention in the letter Okay, ma'am. Next, ma'am, I think when it comes to preposition also, I feel like students face mm. same mistakes and they are yes, committing the course, same mistakes with, uh, they are very much interested to add the word with. Unnecessary, yes. they are adding the word with. Uh, for example, mm. uh, Mr. Peter was prescribed medication. Here, we know that we have to write the preposition with, but when it comes to like uh, he was managed conservatively or he was treated appropriately in that case there is no necessary to use the preposition with because we have not given what management or what type of treatment they are given okay so ma'am let us we can demonstrate for them uh, how we can sir. so you can see the mistakes that you are writing when you are writing the cases these the common doubts that we have okay let's see what our OIT students make while writing and using preposition. This is the sentence what we write when it comes to medication. For example, she was commenced after commenced we have to use the preposition on she was commenced on paracetamol A second example she commenced on paracetamol you are supposed to write this sentence only if a patient or a Maria or whatever the name of a patient she or he comments herself or himself or else this sentence would be wrong if it is administered by a hospital or a doctor the sentence should be she was commenced on paracetamol third example she was prescribed next is she was administered Just we write the medications, do not use the preposition with. She was prescribed paracetamol, she was administered paracetamol. Next preposition is, she was managed with paracetamol. She was treated with paracetamol here we have to use with because we know what medication the patient has been given but make sure when you when we write the word 
she was managed conservatively or she was treated appropriately in that case we do not use the preposition with because we don't know what medication has been provided by the doctor we hope we have clarified some of your doubts and we will come with you with another session stay tuned thank you thank you